here to do Teddy Bear. Say hello to Burke Cummins. I was on the outskirts of a little southern town trying to reach my destination before the sun went down. The old CB was blaring away on channel 19 when there come this little boy's voice on the radio line. He said, Breaker 19, is anyone there? Come on back, truckers, and talk to Teddy Bear. Well, I keyed that mic and I told him, you got it, Teddy Bear. And the little boy's voice came back on the air. Appreciate the break. Who we got on that end? Well, I told him I had him. And that's when he began. Now, I'm not supposed to bother you fellas out there. Mom says you're too busy and for me to stay off the air. But you see, I get lonely. And it helps to talk. Cause that's about all I can do. I'm crippled. I can't walk. Well, I came back and told him to fire up that mic, and I would talk to him as long as he liked. This was my dad's radio, the little boy said. But I guess it's my mom's and mom now, cause my dad is dead. Dad had a wreck about a week ago. He was trying to get home in the blinding snow. Mom has to work now to make ends meet. And I'm not much help with my two crippled feet. She says not to worry, that everything will be all right. But I hear her crying sometimes late at night. For you know, there's one thing that I want more than anything else to see. Oh, I know you fellas are too busy to bother with me. But you see, my dad would take me for rides when he was in town. But I guess that's all over now. Since my dad is gone. Not one breaker came on the OCB. That little crippled boy talk with me. Well, I tried hard to swallow, but the lungs just wouldn't go down. Guess I thought about my boy back in Greenville Town. Dad was going to take Mom and me with him later on this year. Why well, I remember him saying, "Someday this old truck will be yours, Teddy Bear," but. I know I'll never get to ride in an 18-wheeler again. But this old base will keep me in touch with all my trucker friends. Well, Teddy Bear is going to back out now and leave you alone. Because it's about time for Mom to come home. But you give me a shout when you're passing through. And I'll sure be happy to come back to you. Well, I came back and I said, before you go, 1010, what's your home 20, little CB friend? Well, he gave me his address. And I didn't once hesitate because this hot load of freight is just going to have to wait. I turned that truck around on a dime and I headed straight for Jackson Street, 229. As I rounded the corner, boy, I got one heck of a shot. Eighteen wheelers were lined up for three city blocks. Well, I guess every driver for miles around had heard that call. And that little crippled boy was having a ball. For as fast as one driver would bring him in, another would carry him to his truck and take off again. Well, you better believe 
I took my turn at carrying Teddy Bear. Then I carried him back in and set him down in his chair. And buddy, if I've never seen happiness before, I want you to know I saw it that day in the face of that little man. Well, we took up a collection for him before his mama got home. And each driver said goodbye. And then they were all gone. He shook my hand with a mile long smile, grin, and said, So long, trucker, I'll catch you again. Well, I hit that interstate with tears in my eyes. And I turned on the radio, and I got another surprise. Breaker one nine came a voice on the air. Just one word of thanks from Mama Teddy Bear. We wish each and every one a special prayer for you. Cause you just made my little boy's dream come true. I'll sign off now before I start to cry. May God ride with you. 10-4. And goodbye. Thank you.